Namaskaram to all. I think we will start our session. Chaturmukha Samarambham Vakbhadajarya Madhyamam Asmadajarya Paryandam Vande Guru Paramparam Radadi Rogan Satatanu Shaktan Asheshakaya Prasrutan Asheshan Aul Sukya Moharadidan Jakana Yopurva Vaidyaya Namos to the smile. So, in our last session, we were on the concluding part of that Aganduja Vikara, Aganduja Vyadhi. And uh, if we look further into that explanation, we will find one concluding statement in it, which is very important. What is that uh, concluding statement? It goes like this. Evam cha krutva na dosha vedirege na roga anubandhaha kevam paurva varye visheshaha That is a concluding statement. Evam cha krutva if you look at this explanation what we had so far na dosha vedirekena roga anubandha dosha vedirekena na roga anubandha kevalam paurva varye visheshaha so this could be one take home message in this entire discourse on agantuja vikara let it be nija or agandu for Roga Nubandha to happen, I repeat, for Roga Nubandha to happen, involvement of dosha is indispensable, unavoidable. Kevalam Pauruavarye Visheshaha. In the Nija Roga, Doshas are involved in the beginning itself, but in the Agandu it happens later. It may be possible to have a Roga without Dosha. That is actually, a, a, it looks like a contradictory statement or a conflicting statement. I repeat, but it may be possible to have a Roga. While I say Roga here, I mean in the sense that something which cause something which causes ruk ruk samanyad rujandi so it is possible without dosha but not roga anubandha that uh, if 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 at all that uh, rogam or ruk is to sustain To continue to exist, causing trouble repeatedly, that is not possible without the involvement of uh, dosha. That is what we call as roga anubandha. Anubandha shows that continuity. So roga anubandha always require a dosha. So even in a Aganduja Vikara, let it be a, a maybe a Savisha Prani Damsam, Kida Damsam, or maybe some uh, uh, that uh, Kapikachu, or whatever it is. It happens and it subsides. Fine. That is one classical Aganduja Vikara. But if it is not subsiding, instead it continues to exist, it continues to spread and show, uh, start showing different intensities of sufferings. Then that Agandu has followed a Nija Dosha Dushti which was 
all pre-existing in the Sharir. So then there is Roga Anubandha. And this Roga Anubandham cannot happen. Dosha Vyadirekena cannot happen. Dosha Vyadirekena. So there is an involvement of Dosha. So whenever an Agandhu Vikara, which start from an external factor, if it runs further, it continues to play and show its, its various forms and multiple things are adding on, then we should suspect that or we should conclude, not even suspect, we should conclude that there is dosha anubandham, there is pre-existing dosha dushti which is added on to this particular instance of uh, that uh, agandhu. So we have seen uh, multiple types of Roga Vibhajanam. To sum up what we have discussed so far about the Roga Vibhajanam, we saw the Sapta Vidha Vibhajanam first, isn't it? That uh, Sahaja Adi. Then we saw another classification called the Pratyutpanna Karmajam, Purva Karmajam and Ubhaya Karmajam or Ubhaya Janmam, which are otherwise known as Doshajam, Karmajam, Karmajam or Deivajam and dosha karmajam we explained it in detail and this another one the third one is nijam and agandu which could be considered as the most popular one among the classification now we have to understand the roga while we are sitting in the clinic and exam start examining uh, the aduras and come across with various types of uh, vikaras Understanding the Vikara from various perspectives is very important because this uh, various perspectives or perspectives from different angles all together will be giving you the exact picture of the Vyadhi. So you should not uh, stop at one point where a partial understanding is achieved. That is not sufficient. Jnanam shena nahit jnanam kritsnetnye pravartate. Kritsnetnye. <coughs> Kritsnam means complete. As far as a vikara is concerned, it is nyayam means something which is worth understanding. Nyayam, something which is worth exploring, understanding. So, rogam is a factor, a principle which is it is to be understood by all means, from all perspectives. So, when the Tnyayam, the Rogam here is Kritsna Tnyayam. Jnanam Sham. Jnanam Sham means Jnana Avayavam. Avayavam in part. So, Jnanam in part is not going to work. It is a Kritsnatnye. So, when the thing is Kritsnatnye and you are stopping with uh, a Jnana Amsham. Okay, I understood. I got that this is a Nija Vigara. Fine. Then, that is a Jnana Amsham. Jnana Amshena Kritsnatnye Jnana Amshena Jnana Amna Pravartate. You can't expect your uh, uh, knowledge what you achieved to work properly, optimally with the jnana avayavam, jnana amsham. So, you should be looking around again and again, walk around the principle and view it from different perspectives, different angles. Then only you will be getting a complete picture of the problem. So, we are looking at the Vikara from a different perspective. What is that? Trividhascha punar vyadhayaha. Vyadhayaha punaha trividha. Trividhascha punar vyadhayaha. What is the basis of that classification? Mrudu madhya adi matra bhedena. Mrudu madhya adi matram. So there can be a mrudu vyadhi, a madhyama vyadhi, and an adhimatra vyadhi. So this division 
is based on some sort of an intensity of the whole mechanism operating behind based on the intensity of the mechanism playing behind so we have to be aware of it otherwise we will uh, see we will go wrong in the intervention or in the assessment as well as in the intervention so we have to understand what this division is all about we find tatra alpalakshanaha mrudavaha tatra alpalakshanaha mrudavaha then madhya lakshanaha madhyaha sampurna lakshanaha tu adimatraha sampurna lakshanaha tu adimatraha this is very very important understanding as far as a vigara is concerned clinically forget about the uh, theoretical explanation and about thing uh, all all such things but clinically this understanding is very very important why we will see in many ways this is important this is important in many ways not in one way or the or the other especially in decide, uh, deciding the proper intervention and the strength of the intervention this is very important here we find the division prima facie in the first look as uh, based on the severity of lakshanas and the completeness of the lakshanas sampurna lakshanah tu adimatrah adimatrah mrudavah mrudu lakshanah madhyah madhya lakshanah so accordingly a mrudu vyadhi is one which is alpa lakshana so what do you mean by alpa lakshana that is what we have to understand further here alpa lakshanada means only a few of the full number of lakshanas only a few maybe less than 50% because because when there is a 50% i think it will come to the class of madhya lakshana so less than 50% of lakshanas are only manifested then we will call it as an alpa lakshana vyadhi then is there any other possibility of understanding the alpa lakshana da alpa lakshana da can be about the intensity as well there may be all the lakshanas present but all are very weak to count all are present but the strength of each individual lakshana is very weak then also that will be called as alpa lakshana da then that way mrudu vyadhi can be considered as the name given to a vikara or roga whose samprapti is durbalam that may be a better understanding a mrudu vyadhi is one in which the samprapti is durbalam while explaining or while discussing the concept of samprapti we will be coming to it in detail later but just to take one point from that discussion while classifying the types of uh, samprapties in sarvaroga nidanam sandhya vikalpa pradhanya balakala visheshatah sabhidyade संख्या विकल्प प्राधान्य बल काल विशेषतः सभिद्यते सो देयर इज देयर वी फाइंड अबाउट द बलम ऑफ ए संप्राप्ति बल संप्राप्ति एंड व्हाट इज द बल संप्राप्ति इट कैन बी सीन एक्सप्लेन्ड एज हेत्वादि कात्स्न्यावयवैहि बलाबल विशेषण दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टंट हेत्वादि 
ಕಾರ್ಸ್ನ್ಯಾವಯವೈ ಬಲಾಬಲ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ಬಲಾಬಲ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಬಲ ಅಬಲ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ದ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಬಲ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಬಲ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಬಲ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಅಬಲ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಓರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಬಲ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ದುರ್ಬಲ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ನ್ಯ ಅವಯವೈ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ನ್ಯ ಓರ್ ಕೃತ್ಸ್ನತ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ಅವಯವತ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಬಲ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಅಬಲ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೇದು ಪ್ರಾಗ್ರೂಪಂ ರೂಪಂ ಉಪಶಯ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ನಿಧಾನ ಪಂಚಕಂ ಹೇದು ಪ್ರಾಗ್ರೂಪಂ ರೂಪಂ ಉಪಶಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಉಪಶಯ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೆಲೆವೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದಟ್ ಅಸೈಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಅದರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ನಿಯಂ ವಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಕೃತ್ಸ್ನೇ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ನಿಯಂ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ನಿಯಂ ಕೃತ್ಸ್ನತ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಅವಯವಂ ಅವಯವದ ಇನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ನಿಯಂ ಇನ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಅವಯವಂ ಇನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ನ್ಯಾವಯವಂ ಕೃತ್ಸ್ನದ ಅವಯವದ ಆಫ್ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಲಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಬಲಂ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಕೃತ್ಸ್ನದ ವಿಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಬಲ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಅವಯವದ ಆಫ್ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ವಿಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಎ ದುರ್ಬಲ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸೀವ್ಡ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಮೃದು ಮಧ್ಯ ಅದಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಕಾರ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ವರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೇತ್ವಾದಿ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ನ್ಯಾವಯವೈರ್ ಬಲಾಬಲ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ವಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೃದು ಮಧ್ಯ ಅದಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಭೇದೇನ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಕಾರಸ್ ಆಂಡ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಮೃದು ಮಧ್ಯ ಅದಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಭೇದ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಎ ವಿಕಾರ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಮೃದು ಬಲ ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ಆರ್ ಮಧ್ಯ ಬಲ ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ಅದಿ ಬಲ ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ಮೃದು ಮಧ್ಯ ಅದಿ ಬಲ ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಬೆಟರ್ ಸಿ uh first we will look into hedu see in hedu one example sahasam vega samrodhah shukrau jasneha sankshayah annavana vidhityagah chatvarastasya hetavah which is the condition everyone knows which is rajayakshma sahasam vega samrodhah ಶುಕ್ರೌಜ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸಂಕ್ಷಯ ಅನ್ನಬಾನ ವಿಧಿತ್ಯಾಗ ಚತ್ವಾರಸ್ತಸ್ಯ ಹೇದವ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ವಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೇದೂಸ್ ಸಾಹಸ ವೇಗ ಸಂರೋಧ ಶುಕ್ಲೌಜ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸಂಕ್ಷಯ ಅನ್ನಬಾನ ವಿಧಿ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕೇಸ್ in one particular individual if all these four factors play and rajayakshma is manifested all the four factors there is sahasam there is vega samrodham there is shukla ujasneha samkshaya there is annavana vidhityagam as well so all the four factors as hedus play behind the manifestation of a raja yakshma in a particular individual some unlucky individual then there is krtsnada of hedus there is krtsnada of hedus and this will make way for a prabala samprapti resulting in an 
അതിമാത്ര ഓർ അതിബല വ്യാധി അതിമാത്ര ഓർ അതിബല വ്യാധി ഹിയർ ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് രാജയക്ഷ്മ ബിക്കോസ് വി വർ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് രാജയക്ഷ്മ സോ ടേക്ക് ദ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ദറ്റ് ഏകാദശ രൂപ രാജയക്ഷ്മ ശ്വാസകാസംസമൂർധസ്വരജോരുജീർധംവിഡേദസംശോഷാവധ and it still succeeds in the samprapti of generating rajayakshma only one samprapti there is only sahasa or there is only annavana vidhityaga which may be more common these days then also there will be manifestation of rajayakshma because the, the, the nidana succeeded in initiating the samprapti so there will be rajayakshma but there is no hedu karsnyam and obviously there need not be lakshana karsnyam in terms of number as well as strength either number or strength or both number and strength then what will happen here there is hetu avayavata not hetu karts krishnada but hetu avayavata in part so what happens it will be ending up in a mrudubala vyadhi the rajayakshma here will be mrudubala and from this i think we can assume what is what will be a madhya bala vyadhi in rajayakshma will look like it may be interesting to recollect at this point about the ekadasha roopa rajayakshma maybe that shadroopa uh, and tri roopa of rajayakshma where there is there can be hedu karsnyam hedu avayavata lakshana karsnyam karsnyam and lakshana avayavata and something in between also madhya madhyasthayi so karsnyam of purva roopam roopam and based on that there can be mrudu adi bheda now we, th- we we already told that we may not be discussing the uh, that uh, uh, upashaya here in detail it is also relevant it is also relevant whether there is uh, ഉപശയ കൃഷ്ണത ഓർ ഉപശയ അവയവത ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ എൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് പോയിന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ദ സംപ്രാപ്തി ഓൾസോ ഷുഡ് ബി ഇൻ ടു ടേക്കൺ ഇൻ ടു കൺസിഡറേഷൻ ഹേത്വാദി കണ്ടെയ്ൻസ് ഹേതു പൂർവരൂപ രൂപ ആൻഡ് സംപ്രാപ്തി ഓൾസോ സോ ഹൗ വിൽ വി അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദ കൃഷ്ണത ഓർ അവയവത ഓഫ് സംപ്രാപ്തി this we have discussed early actually but at this point it is relevant so we will just revise that portion what is that sarvesham punar vikaranam nidana dosha dushya visheshebhyo bhava bhava visheshaha bhavanti that is what we saw earlier this is beautifully explained in i mean in the charaka samhita nidana sthanam as well as in the bhesha javajraniyam sutra sthan of sangraha sarvesham punar vikaranam nidana dosha dushya visheshebhyo bhava bhava visheshaha bhavanti then he continues yadahi ede trayo nidana adi visheshad na anyonya anubaddhanandi ishadva anubaddhanandi abalam va na tada abhinurvartande vyadhaya ചിരാദ്വാഭവന്തിസംപൂർണലിംഗാവാഭവന്തിസംപൂർണലിംഗാവാഭവന്തിസംപൂർണലിംഗാവാ all diseases will have specific way in their bhava bhava 
bhavam and abhavam there will be specific way the way in which a disease is manifesting or the way in which a disease is not manifesting bhavam and abhavam and this is decided by whether to manifest or not to manifest if at all manifest how to manifest this is decided by the specific way of engagement between nidana dosha and dushya the specific way of engagement between nidana dosha and dushya the way of engagement between nidana dosha and dushya what is that that is what samprapti is samprapti in one sentence is the way in which nidana dosha and dushya engage between themselves when this engagement is not happening there is no chance of manifestation of a vikara mind it when there is no engagement between nidana dosha and dushya there is no possibility of manifestation of a vikara when this engagement is happening but ishad ishad light or mild or incomplete or partial ishad abalam va abalam is quite a weak engagement then then what happens the manifestation of the disease may ha happen disease may manifest but late or slow may be mild in strength or can be incomplete in presentation can be incomplete in presentation the tricky part is sometimes maybe a disease can have an engagement which is quite weak in the beginning and it may be may not be presenting itself in the beginning but later it will wait for a better atmosphere better better opportunity hedu pradikshinaha they will wait and when that opportunity comes it may strike harder and stronger an intelligent vaidya should be able to understand this that is what that, that vaidya is what we call, whom we call as vyadhyavastha vibhagatnah vyadhyavastha vibhagatnah so we should cultivate that sort of a, a practice among us to become vyadhyavastha vibhagatnah how it is possible pasyanartan pratikshanam by repeated and continuous observation of the patient sharira then we will come back to the discussion so there can be a mild presentation slow presentation and late manifestation and an incomplete presentation is also possible contrarily when the engagement between nidana dosha and dushya is complete and strong there will be a full blown manifestation of the vikara which can be very fast which can be very fast very strong in terms of its severity and the presentation of lakshanas will be complete the complete spectrum of symptoms will be present so it is all about the engagement between nidana dosha and dushya that which decides the mrudu madhya adi matra concept of samprapti of vikara now why does it happen like this there is a question which we are not going to discuss today because our time is over but there are interesting points behind this why does it happen like this there are many situations we can find see uh, that uh, असंपूर्ण लिंगदाफिकारोगी बलम डिजम क्यूरबल 
even lingeshu alpeshu api kshinam even if the linga the lakshana is incomplete if the vyadhi the adura bala is very poor it will become asadhya so there are multiple factors which are clinically significant and uh, going to be very crucial in decision making and there may be other situations all the karanas prevail for the vyadhi but the vikara is not happening why so that sort of issues are there which we have to add to our present understanding or the discussion what we had here and there is one point how about the mrudu and the aruna classification so it is running parallel to this what we have discussed so far mrudu vyadhi daruna vyadhi is also about or uh, indicative of a uh, mrudu samprapti or a daruna samprapti or a mrudu madhya adibala samprapti so uh, we will uh, we will uh, discuss few more aspects of this uh, samprapti vibhajanam bala bala vishishtada or visheshaha of vikara and this mrudu madhya adimatra bhedam of vikara and we will conclude it in our next class so here we stop thank you very much we will meet you uh, we will meet again on uh, uh, next wednesday morning thank you very much भिषजा साधुवृत्ता भद्रम आगमशालिना अभ्यस्तकर्मण भद्रम भद्रम भद्राभिलाषिणा